Hello everyone. One or two people have been asking for an update on the flood situation here in Cockermouth and how the river is with all the recent rain we've had. So a um, friend of mine, Dr. One, has some video footage which I will run later in this video. Um, another thing people have been asking for an update is, is about this, the pond. It's growing in nicely now. Looking forward to getting some, some frogs and toads in here next year some more life this is brilliant and i can tackle this over the winter months and get some more planting done around this now another thing um even after 50 years of gardening things still surprise me and that's happened recently with my potato pots i've got some sarpo mira over there in the 30 liter tubs as many people grow and i was quite surprised this last week and i've got some footage i'm going to run that and show you that um, and then we'll run the footage I've got for the, the river and then we'll come back for a sum up about the potatoes and we'll have a little talk about that. So there we go, video all planned, organised today. <laughs> now this always seems to happen just when the camera's not rolling. <laughs> I've just emptied one, one of the Sarpo Mira buckets and that's what I've got. Now I noticed when I did a bucket a couple of weeks ago people were saying how that one looked better than their whole crop and um, I thought it was quite low this is more of what I would expect from a Sarpomira bucket I mean these potatoes are absolute clunkers all from 130 litre bucket so from two seed potato and that's what you get and there must be getting on for 10 pound there I will weigh it and put it up on the screen but I'm going to clear this away now and find another one to empty and roll on camera and just see if it's the same. Probably won't, but it's worth a go. So over here I've got the last of my buckets of potatoes. And these are all Sarpo Mira. And all the foliage was cut off probably three or four weeks ago now. And I was just walking past them last week and I noticed one of them was bulging at the side. The sunlight hit it just right so I could see that it was bulging. So I went and emptied it and it's typical, the camera wasn't rolling at the time because it was the best harvest I've ever had from one of these buckets, one of these 30 litre tubs of 14 pound, 12 ounces. It was quite phenomenal, the potatoes just kept coming out. So I've identified three more, these three here, and I've got three trays here. Um, that are also um, ballooning shall we say you can feel around the edges the bumpiness so you know you've got some good tubers in there what's in here I have no idea I have had a couple with just about two or three pound of potatoes in so no idea until you empty them this one looks particularly swelled especially at the top here so I'm going to film them and I'll put them into each bucket into one of these trays, take them home and weigh them, then I can put up on the video what the weight was in each bucket. I'll only show you the one bucket, I'll show you the best, whichever that is, but I'll film them separately. So we'll try the third bucket. See what we've got in here. Some of these are rotten. That is as well. Still a good looking crop. Rotten again, gosh. Thank <laughs> you. 
still, still coming. I think that's about it now. Yeah, I think that's it. So there's three. So there's three reasonable crops there. I'll say I'll weigh them at home using those reference cards, and then I can put them on the screen now. <coughs> so there's three buckets. I mean. Smaller in this one, there are some big ones. I think it's these bigger ones that make the buckets swell and go knobbly on the outside. Um, but they've grown well. I would estimate anywhere around sort of seven, eight, nine pounds in each there. Yeah, so happy about that. I mean, they're a good little crop to have. Nothing like the the mammoth one I showed. Well, I showed you the harvest off. Didn't show the reveal, which is a shame. But that's the way these things happen. hear my father's voice he would tell me to move on he would say I'll be just fine yeah he would tell me we have time time to laugh and time to heal a favorite song is on repeat drinking wine until the dawn So those potato pots were really, really good. That's 14 pound, 12 ounces, nine pound, nine ounces, 10 pound, one ounce, and 10 pound, two ounces, four 30 litre tubs, two seed potatoes at each. Talk about that in a minute. And that's what I got from them, which is exceptional. Let's say normally I would expect to get a yield from a 30 litre bucket of around somewhere between six and eight and a half, nine pounds uh, from a bucket. So those four are exceptional. And I've still got a few more to empty, but that's enough for what I need for now. And I'll empty the rest when I need them. Now, earlier this year, I stated, and it goes against the grain, there are people who do it differently. Now, I only plant two seed potatoes in a tub, and I know there's a lot of people out there, and very good gardeners too, who swear by and plant four. That's fair enough. Everybody is entitled to their weight and their opinion. I've always done two. Now, the reason I do that is because when you plant a seed potato in the ground, you have about a two-foot gap in a row between the next one. You don't get two foot in a 30-litre pot. And I think that even perhaps two is too many, one too many in a pot. So what I'm going to do next year is I'm going to run a test for my own benefit. I've never done it before, never planted four potatoes in a pot. I've never seen the need to. That's just my thing. I'm not calling anybody out for doing it. They've found and used their way. But I'm going to do it my way again next year. But I'm going to run a test. I'm going to run a certain number of pots with one in certain number with two and a certain number with four seed potatoes and I'll do it as a, a bigger test as I possibly can 
and every pot that's emptied will be weighed and then the weights will be put together for each variation along there. And I'm also going to do another test. Another thing I also say about potatoes is that you don't need to chip them. Now I know what's happened over the years is that to get a good start on the year, first earlies were started chitting. Second earlies you didn't need to, main crop you didn't need to. And over the years that spread more and more as people have got information maybe not quite right, should we say, and it's now spread to every variety must be chitted and every variety must be started back in January on a windowsill. I always think at that time of the year I want to get my aubergines going and my peppers and my windowsill space is limited so I don't do it and also because I've been gardening 50 years I learnt the old methods of doing it and the old method was that you bought your seed potatoes over winter and you stored them away somewhere cool and somewhere dark so that they didn't sprout. When the weather started to warm up, you would start to see very small, very, very tiny, just pinpricks of green on the potato. That is the time to take them out and put them in the light and to start them chitting and not before. And that can be as late as the first week in March. And then they'll have a couple of weeks chitting. They've got some tiny little chits on and you grow them. So in that respect, I don't chit them. I put them out into the light when the first pinpricks are green and the little eyes of potato are showing. So anyway, next year, another test. Half of those varieties that I've just mentioned, where I'm going to try one seed potato, two and four in buckets, half of each of those will be chitted and half won't be. We'll just do it the way I've always done. And then hopefully by the end of next season, and it's, this is for my benefit as much as anything, hopefully by the end of next season I'll have a clearer picture of what works best for me. Now, as I say, I know there are many good gardeners out there who do recommend that you chit them and start them, and they'll plant them with chits this size. Nothing wrong with that, and I'm not calling them out for it. That's their method, that's what they found works for them. Um, I've been growing potatoes for years and I just want to see what all the, what all the um, kerfuffle is about them, you know, why would you want to put four in a bucket? My own personal thought is that I'll get smaller tubers, just get the same amount of potatoes in a bucket in weight. But we'll see next year, we'll find out. I say it's just an experiment for me to move forward with. Anyway, that's where we're up to with the potatoes. Fantastic harvest. It works out at about £44 in four buckets, which that is just phenomenal and very pleased with that. So we'll see what happens next year. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the, um, the video of the river from a friend, the doctor, Dr. One. And um, we'll see you all soon. Do look after yourselves. Stay safe. I'll see you all very, very soon. Tirana.